sitting somewhere and see how people break chairs and wound themselves but you before you get to the ground somebody has come to hold you it's a skill because they are holding people who are bigger than them there is a skill we are that meticulous so don't just say god is prospering koinonia kai you are blessed we are blessed through skill hallelujah let's hurry up so we can stop somewhere skill and expertise is the key is the key to promotion and increased salary you see somebody who has been grumbling and hating his boss tell him be skillful be skillful then you can pray stop drumming at the gates of heaven when you are not skillful let me tell you something i humorously tell people if i'm your boss and you are not skillful i can be a good pastor to you but i'll fire you and i'll fire you because i'm a serious christian hallelujah i will never entertain a worker in church for instance i mean maybe there is I'm, I'm your boss in an office somewhere and you think because we are members of koinonia you are not serious you will never get the job never get the job i don't do all those kinds of things say remember we are from the same place whether we are from the same room if you have not demonstrated the skill if you are so much of a liability for me i will bless you with direct money so that you will go but not to commit things to you he gave unto some five some two and one according to their several ability not their prayer request their ability their ability i hammer it on the workers to be skillful and it's my desire to see everybody who is at the sound of my voice you must become skillful at something you must become an expert in something you can't become jack of all trades and master of none you have to lay your hands on something be a master in it and i guarantee you you're on your way to the wealthy place you see the implication of the formula you were just jumping around on demand for your service is not enough you must have both the psychological and intellectual know-how to satisfy that demand write it down demand for your service is not enough you must have both the psychological and intellectual know-how to satisfy the demand The person who babs me is here in koinonia he's so skillful i love him so much and he babs me no matter how you love me i will not submit my head to you to play around with i don't have that luxury i love you i can i can i can help you i can teach you but i won't do that how many people are not skillful in what they do we are prayerful but we are not skillful say i receive grace to be skillful let me tell you the truth skill is an asset skill is an asset if this guy is so broke if he is so broke today that nothing moves all he needs to do is go to a hotel in abuja just ask for permission to sit somewhere and then he will begin to play and someone will see him and say can you come and play for one program what's your cost and he uses other psychological factors and walks his way out of poverty forever because of skill the next level of your life is at the mercy of your skill not at the mercy of god alone at the mercy of your skill man of god your preaching skill will determine the next level of ministry your leadership skill your financial intelligence what you are receiving right now there are people standing outside no seats for them there are people looking through the window they are passionate to receive that skill and i guarantee you in a short time their lives will show meditate on these things the bible says give yourself wholly to them that your profiting will appear unto all there is nothing as lovely as an anointed person who is skillful it's a combination of grace and power anointed and skillful not only that you are anointed to sing you know the rudiments of music that will make you exceptional you are a businessman you are not just a businessman offering services you are exceptionally skilled 
when your contemporaries look at you they name you after your competence you walk in your office and they give you a name that is synonymous to skill even your enemies will recommend you and say please promote this guy we hate him but there is nobody in this company who can do it as him i gave you a story of somebody in this country he works three jobs three jobs and he works only three times in a week he's so skillful he's the brain behind many successful companies in nigeria i will not mention the names of the companies you'll be surprised they beg him he works only three times three times in a week and the minimum salary he gets for every one of those jobs is five hundred thousand minimum and he works only three times skill will defy race skill will defy gender skill will defy age if you are skillful the world will honor you that's why wole soinka received the nobel prize nobody said you are from africa that's why zuckerberg at 30 or 31 is still among the world's richest people skill defies age i'm giving you a key if you sit down in mediocrity you will beg for bread i choose to be skillful in every area i choose to be exceptional i avoid premature manifestation while others are running let them run i will stay back and i will sharpen the knife you are a drummer be skillful i've hammered on these guys you don't want to know how skillful these guys are i've seen their diligence our technical people we emphasize skill not just anointing brothers and sisters it takes skill it takes skill it takes skill the difference between cnn or bbc and one christian channel around that looks as if the television is not working well is skill it's not anointing you watch some channels and you are angry you are angry did they have to do it this way they want cheap labor rather than going to call a media consultant and pay him to produce something that is world class and coordinate this they refuse they say there's one brother who offered to help us and they remain in mediocrity to their detriment powerful message from the throne but nobody can listen many people try to write books and they don't consult with people they bring out a book that is the message is deep but the skill the artistry in writing it is not there td jakes wrote one skillful book woman thou art loose and he made four million dollars from one book four million dollars multiply that by 210 and it will give you the naira equivalent one man's skill build him out of poverty one skill you have written 10 books nobody even knows because you wrote every you wrote like you are talking they didn't teach you that there is a skill you stood somewhere and you sang a song and the people in the program vowed that they would never bring you for that meeting again were they blessed yes were they embarrassed yes why you had anointing without skill you had access to cook for a millionaire you would have been his personal chef you blew that moment you were praying in tongues in the kitchen but there was no skill the food burned everything went wrong skill papa adeboye said this himself he said when the redeemed campground started he said that they they paid very little attention to the aesthetics of the place they were more focused on the spiritual impact so people would come ceos managers billionaires will come and sit down and heat will will disturb them and it was making everything uncomfortable and god spoke to him and he said a ceo has ac in his office in his jeep he has ac in his parlor bedroom kitchen everywhere there is ac and then he comes to a very established ministry like that and heat is destroying him and he said they started making plans to add to the aesthetics of the place skill 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 let me talk on the last point and then we'll find somewhere to stop skill is an asset it has rewarded me 
I have seen the fruit of skill in my life. I have seen it exceptionally. As I travel to go for meetings, I not only see the beauty of anointing, I see the excellency of being skillful. The Bible says, study to show yourself approved. A workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word, skillfully dividing it. When I go for meetings, we go together with the protocol and the worship people, and I watch them as they look at me. When they say, let's now welcome Apostle Joshua Selman, and people are clapping, I'm happy because I have the skill. There's nothing you can do about it. I have it. I paid the price and God gave it. I am grateful, but I'm not apologetic about it. I know the people are going to be wow. Just give me 10 minutes of audience and I will shock you. That's all I need. And when I pick up the mic, I know what to do. With wise counsel, make war. I know that at the end of that meeting, somebody will invite me again. It's not pride. It's the truth. You can be that confident. Skill. Please, when you go back home throughout this week, some of you, as you go home, just sit down and think of your life. Please, don't be in a hurry to sleep. You've been sleeping for years. Wake up this night and think. And say, look at how I've been playing with the opportunities God has been giving. Everything you do, nobody demands what you do again because you are not skillful. They ask you to supply clothes. You supplied nonsense. You packaged it in a rubbish way. You delivered it in, in an unintelligent and unprofessional way. And they vowed not to give you that opportunity again. We're on our way to better days. Now you can sing the song well. We're on our way to better days. It's not just a song. I'm on my way to better days. Hallelujah. Yesterday when I was coming from Abuja, a woman met me. And then when she met me, she wanted me to talk to her on some things. I spoke to her on a few things. And when I was talking to her, this woman was looking at me. And she said, what kind of human being are you? Where are you getting this? And I was on my way going. I said, on my way, I'm on my way rushing. And she said, please, can you give me a minute? And she ran to her room. And this woman brought out an envelope with dollars. And said take i said no, no 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 what is this please no no i'm not i'm not ready and she squeezed it into somebody and i said this is somebody's salary for how many months the gift of a man the skill of a man i don't talk too much about my private life but i just want to challenge you a bit it has nothing to do with age it has nothing to do with gender are you getting what i'm saying i hardly buy things for myself people bring it in honor skill do you know that your skill can take you out from where you are and bail you? Yes, you may be born in Nazareth, but don't die in Nazareth. You may be born in Nazareth. God is speaking to someone here. They think you are a non-entity, but may your skill prove them wrong. May your exceptional qualities prove them wrong. Number three, the difficulty in replacing you. Write this word down. To be valued means to not be easily replaceable. To be valued means to not be easily replaceable. To be valued means to not be easily replaceable. To be valued means to not be easily replaceable. Write this down. When your uniqueness or your strategy or your competitive advantage, whatever you want to call it, when your uniqueness or your strategy or your competitive advantage stands you out such that it becomes very difficult, right? When your uniqueness or your strategy or your competitive advantage stands you out such that it becomes very difficult to find a worthy alternative to you, you will be very wealthy. Yeah, you will. When your uniqueness or your strategy or as we call it in the business world, your competitive advantage 
when it is so unique that it stands you out you can get another joshua selman but not easily see that there are many preachers but there is only one joshua selman there are many anointed men but there is one joshua selman no man can clone the grace no man can close the can clone the skill no man can clone the uniqueness so you carve a niche that is free of competition you carve a niche that is free of intimidation you stand in a place where you are secured in your uniqueness because it's not easy to find a replacement if you are easily replaceable it's a sign that you will be broke let me tell you how you know you are not valued your absence is easily forgotten and ignored. When your absence is easily forgotten, when your absence is unnoticed, it's a sign that your impact is small. Yeah. If I come to work in your company, even if it is one day, I will do something that will make you chase me like your life depends on it. It's called value. The amount of money that comes to you is dependent on the difficulty in finding an alternative to you when there is no alternative to you they will pay whatever price you will name your price you will name your price hallelujah i have taught people these things it's difficult to get another mic these guys are all skillful it's difficult to get another elijah it's difficult to get them no they are all unique david dam is here come all these guys you see they are skilled people but they have their uniqueness there is a way david dam is so unique you cannot clone him no matter what happens there is a way sam comes on stage and you know he's in a class of his own what do you have in your life that truthfully you can say when it comes to this god has put me in a class void of competition some of you is only trouble that you are in a class of your own gossiping all these bad bad things that are bad bad qualities that's what you are in a class of your own tonight change everybody is selling but there is a way you do yours the day you don't open your shop people come and there are five shops open but they are waiting for you they say Abba can't you buy I say, there is I like that smile there is a unique touch to what you do. There is a way you do what you do. You are the happiest staff in your corporation. The day you don't come, the entire workforce is gloomy. They are, they are sad. They miss you. Some of you, nobody is missing you right now. It's bad. It's bad. It's a serious issue. Think about it. Nobody is missing what you are giving. ATC called me this morning and they said, they wanted to do a novelty football match in honor of my birthday. They said they want to play a football match with Koinonia to honor me on my birthday. I said, wow, that's so touching. Who would do it for you and when? It's a serious question. I'm not intimidating you. Who has chosen to go out of his way to do something for you? You are saying there is no money. There are people they are chasing with money people bless me every day i say it in, with all humility it's not because i'm joshua selman when you are not easily replaceable you become an asset even to your enemies because they need you to remain in business they need your news to remain relevant even your enemies desire you to continue are you that unique or you are just general i'm a general businessman general talkative what do you sell television what is unique about why should i come and buy tv from you and not from someone else do you have that uniqueness what do you do i plot who have you plotted many people what is your uniqueness is it that you plot on time is it that you plot well is it that the lady's hair will not pain her when you plot what is your uniqueness I refuse to be easily replaceable i refuse it pray that prayer in one minute i refuse it please pray i'm showing you a key we're not done yet but i just want you to pray it and then we'll do an evaluation quickly and we're out pray the 
they have belittled you because you are easily replaceable you have refused to work on yourself money is available i tell you money is available the millions are available you are not yet unique enough to be rich you have not qualified for the world you are grumbling about it you are complaining for five years you are still at that lower level somebody came a fresh graduate you paid his school fees he's now your boss to what degree are you easily replaceable pray lord may i be so unique that i become an asset an asset to all and sundry may my absence create a vacuum that cannot be easily filled i'm ready to pay the price to be that unique world class not a local champion you may start small but you hold on to strong convictions convictions that nothing will bend not cultural barriers convictions that nothing will bend not the limitations of your past convictions that nothing will bend pray an award-winning banker exceptional an award-winning ceo an award-winning man of god so anointed so unique you become a standard you become a leader you become a reference it's not a gift it's a reward it's not a gift hallelujah do this and in one day you will get what somebody will get in a lifetime somebody who earns hundred thousand per month how much is that per year how much is that per year 1.2 million how much is that in 20 years 24 million someone can give it to you in one day as a reward to your uniqueness the lifetime one day my father looked at me and said you are an old man you are a young man with gray hair what sort of person are you may people look at you like Jesus and say what wisdom is this they look at you and wonder they don't know what to say about you let me tell you something stop responding to your critics the only response you give your critics is greater results greater results let them keep talking the gap will be too wide they will be forced to shut up continue moving let me tell you what you are seeing in ministry right now the level of excellence and the anointing is my preparation of yesterday tomorrow will show you what I'm doing today in my mind I've left this level no I've left this level I've left this level Gentiles this is what will make Gentiles come to your light and kings to their brightness millionaires will come and they will queue up they will queue up one woman asked me a question she said my son how come people come for counseling hundreds of people and they sit down from morning till night just to talk to you for two minutes and five minutes i didn't know what to tell her i said it's the same reason why a baba or a rich man will run backward to see a herbalist and the herbalist said turn back and he will turn back he knows what he's looking for when you hold the keys to the door they will look for you they will beg for you they will pay you to open the door oh i found my way out of poverty i found my way out i found my way out there is an eternal demand for what i do i will never run out of relevance there is an eternal demand for as long as there is one soul that is not yet saved there is a demand for as long as there is one sick body that is not healed there is a demand for as long as there is one person one family under oppression i will be needed for as long as there are people who need to be taught the principles of the kingdom i will be needed the, the, we are an endangered species a million of me is still not enough to fulfill the demand you say you are a leader how uncommon are you one time i went to speak in a 
a, a small business leadership conference and i sat quietly there were bank managers and people everybody came and was just bragging and talking stories and speaking rubbish i was very disappointed in all humility because i had high expectations for them i didn't know how much i had worked on myself they spoke and everybody spoke nonsense and i came out when i spoke brothers and sisters i tell you the truth and i i lie not i do not know how many complimentary cards and all of that and all of that and they were talking and i looked i said on a good day i will go to their offices and they will drive me out now they are following me with complimentary cards stop following success attract it through your diligence stop chasing money attract it through your skill stop chasing money pay the price and you will drive it away and it will refuse to go It is for this very reason that doctors, lawyers, engineers, soldiers are very rich. This very reason. Those we call professionals. This is why. Because of um, they are, the kind of work they do requires a lot of skill. Right? Their professions require a lot of skill that cannot be learned informally and then they require public licensing and authorizations to function so it limits the number of people that can imitate them that's why they are rich if you've ever wondered why doctors are rich engineers architects and all of the people that do what we call professional courses is because there are licenses and to get the licenses and authorizations you need to pass through something and not everybody can do that so they are few and the demand for what they have is so high and they can set any price any price may you be so powerful that you can name your price and people will still pay you and say thank you for helping us the same way you queue in a filling station you are going to use your money to pay for the fuel but you will say thank you because it's so much in demand there is none of you under the sound of my voice who will walk what i'm telling you and will not be rich no not one write a few things down we're rounding up number one you do not seek money directly write this point it's wrong i'm looking for money is an error you will never find it it's not missing you don't look for money directly money like health and happiness is an effect it's a byproduct you don't look for it directly you don't look for happiness directly you look for the things that bring happiness right you don't look for health directly you eat well and it produces health so you don't look for money directly money is an effect responding to a cause money is a byproduct of carrying out a formula stop looking for money you attract it i'm looking for money you will never find it never find You may not like me tonight, but you will tell me thank you tomorrow. When you become a billionaire and your colleagues look at you and say, Hapa, didn't we school together? You say, but we didn't hear the same thing. Hallelujah. You only set it as a goal. And then you seek to provide services and solutions to increase your skill and bring it into your life. I'm summarizing to you right now two ways you get rich number one you get rich by increasing or improving the service that you offer you need to sit down and birth ideas for bigger services what is a better way to do this you need strategies so i'm still buttressing on the first point you need to increase the services whatever it is that you render I'm telling you the truth. Repent of that cause for that, that thinking and that ideology of trying to get something for nothing. Listen. 
you can come and meet me today. You can tell me your problems. I can talk to you and I can pray with you. There may be financial problems. I will look at you. I may give you minerals or malt or apples or whatever and tell you God bless you. But I will be willing to carry one million and give somebody who can solve my problem. I was always willing to give. You were not willing to receive. Are you getting that? Many people, you come to many people's houses to beg for money. They will not give you money. But they will carry 1.5 on their way to the bank on Monday to go and deposit it. The money is always there. You don't get it by begging. You get it by offering service. If you solve a millionaire's problem, you have access to his millions. Valuable service will give you the keys to the wealth of people. I have met billionaires. I have met millionaires. I'm shocked and surprised to see the way they honor me and respect me and respect Koinonia. There is a woman, she's a billionaire. She jogs with Koinonia messages every day. She's passionate about me. I was with her yesterday and I was amazed. Do you know how valuable you can be? The people you are admiring today will admire you if you do what I'm telling you to do. They will admire you. There are people who I used to call sir before. Today, I've met them. I still recognize them, but they don't recognize me. Many of the people who criticized me in the past have come for counseling today. And they never knew that I was the one they were criticizing. They came and waited for hours. And when they entered, I said, man of God, it's a privilege. I've been hearing about you. And like Joseph, I said, God bless you. How can I help you? And they say everything there. Many of them criticized and said all kinds of things. But their children recommended them to come. And now they came. They are now seeing the Son of Man in power and glory. Oh, then he was a shepherd boy in Nazareth. Why will you remain this way after this teaching? I will weep. You saw me, see, I sat down here and I was, I was almost, almost shedding tears, honestly. I'm not an emotional person at all, but there is a very soft side to me. Because when I sat down, I was praying while the worship team was ministering. I said, Lord, will your people respect what I will tell them? Or must they suffer to a point that their lives are almost becoming miserable before they receive it? many of you are doing well parents are helping you you are not taking care of your finances and so you may have very little value for what i'm sharing until the day you get married and you find out that you are the one who is the breadwinner that's when you go and check the dictionary and find out the meaning of the word breadwinner it means the absolute provider unassisted absolute provider and then you will now review this message again but the earlier you start the faster for you Hallelujah. The earlier you start, the faster for you. And then you increase your skill. I told you, you get rich by increasing your service and then you increase your skill in what you currently do. Even if it's to get a job. There's part three of this. And in that one, I'll be teaching you multiple streams of income. I'll be teaching you certain things. The ocean never dries because every stream flows to it. Hmm. I will show you the mystery of Genesis chapter 1. The secret of unlimited abundance. And there was a river that went out of Eden and parted itself into four. I'll be teaching you multiple streams of income. The key to oceanic wealth. The very key. Ordinarily, I'm supposed to stop here. But then we'll go the extra mile. Because I hope that this becomes my contribution to your finances. That what our parents did not get, we are getting. So that you are not without any excuse. Then you can sing that your status is changing. It no longer will become a cliche. You become magnetic. Absolutely magnetic. It will look like a charm. But money will look for you. Wherever you personal evaluation write this this is an evaluation for you to go and work on just three questions i'm about to ask you thank you jesus a 
Okay, I'll give you five. Ready? Number one, just write personal evaluations. These are questions that you answer. We're out of time so that we can pray. Sorry, we're taking a bit of time, but I think this is, this is worth it, right? Number one, what are the major solutions or value or service I provide? That's the first question you are going to ask yourself. Write it down. Be absolutely clear about it. What are the major solutions? What is the major value? What are the major services that I provide as a person? As a man of God, I provide spiritual solutions, for instance. That's what I do. As a man of God, I, I'm not just a preacher. I provide spiritual solutions. Right? And I know the exact solutions I provide. I'm bringing people to the point of intimacy and passion for God. That's a spiritual solution. Right? I'm helping them to comprehend the principles of the kingdom. I'm offering spiritual solutions. Using the word of God and the anointing of the Holy Spirit. That's the value that I'm giving to you. So I'm a businessman. This is my product. I'm giving you valuable service. A spiritual solution. I'm connecting you. I'm bringing you to closer intimacy with God. And I'm teaching you the principles of the kingdom that guarantee for a victorious life and a purposeful life. That's value I'm adding to you. And then I'm, I'm solving solutions. I, I mean, I'm providing solutions and solving problems supernaturally. On Friday is going to be miracle service. Another reign of miracles and the anointing of the spirit. That's a spiritual solution. There are people who are coming barren. I spoke to a woman. Eight years barren. Next week she's coming and her, her problem will end. That's a spiritual solution. Somebody is coming who has been buffeted by darkness. And light will come. Spiritual solution. This is why I will remain blessed. It's not because I'm preaching the gospel. It's because I'm giving something. Are you seeing that now? This is why preachers are rich. This is why preachers are rich. I refuse to celebrate my birthday. Many people have been asking, why don't you celebrate your birthday? I will celebrate my birthday. Birthday is not the day you were born. It's a celebration of the reason why you were born. I will begin to celebrate my birthday when I feel satisfied that I'm truly impacting lives. It's not just about cutting cake and smiling. It's about many people saying, thank God you were born. Hmm. Then you can celebrate it indeed. Question two. Is there a demand for the solution I am providing? Question. So question one, what is the value? What are you providing? If you are working in an office, what are you giving? Really? What are they paying you for? You must know it. Don't just say they are paying me 10,000. No. If you know what they are paying you for, you can increase your salary by increasing what they are paying you for. You don't increase your salary by going to your director and say, increase my pay. No. When you increase your skill, your service, you are paid. Number two, is there a demand for the solutions I'm providing? Still on number two. If yes, how great and sustainable is that demand meaning what you are providing whether as an employer as a businessman as an entrepreneur as a leader as a man of god whatever it is is there a demand for what you are providing and if yes how sustainable is that demand will it fade with time there is no amount of civilization that will make what i'm doing go extinct i'm so happy for being a pastor I'm so happy for being a preacher. I'm so happy for being a man of God. Because the more civilization comes, the more we are needed. You will never kick us out. We have come to stay. Praise the Lord. Doctors will never go out of extinct. Because darkness will cover the earth. People will be sick. Women are getting pregnant every day. Women are giving birth every day somebody is having headache somebody is breaking the laws of health every day the disobedience of men will keep medicine alive until jesus comes the military will keep reigning wicked people will continue careless people will continue and so the military will never go out is there a demand for what you have to offer and if there is how sustainable is it 
so that you know whether you should build your life around it or stop wasting your time it is painful to build your life around a service and then it no longer becomes needed and you are left there despondent number three do i possess all the skill and expertise required in providing the above solutions okay so it is true now that you have identified what you are doing the service the valuable service right and you have seen that there is a demand the third question is do i possess all the skill required in providing the above solutions you can put in bracket am i aware of all the skills required in the first place you are a preacher are you aware of all the skills required in preaching well or you are just carrying the mic and moving around are you aware and if you are aware have you cultivated them as a businessman have you cultivated your communication skills your people skills your leadership skills right have you mastered goal setting have you mastered the principles of execution have you learned how to coordinate people have you learned how to develop a team spirit in people have you learned how to motivate people to achieve a common goal have you learned that do you have financial intelligence what do you understand about accounting and documentation and auditing have you gone that far to know anything about it have you learned how to to motivate people when they do not have courage or are you just a businessman a ceo moving around with complimentary cards packaging with no content as an employee are you so skilled are you so skilled do you know your onions well can you do your stuff so well number four number four write two things just two write two things that you can do daily be, to become exceptional in your field two things write two things there are many things you can do but write two things what two things can you do daily from this night to start improving yourself in the area where you see God taking you to if it's as a man of God what two things will you do every day as a businessman what two things would you do every day as an entrepreneur as a leader right what two things do you think you can do every day to improve on yourself five write down three major ideas that have come to your mind and you think will be in high demand write three ideas there must have been ideas in your mind especially when you were growing up before you were aware of wickedness before you were aware of the vicissitudes of life that kill the dreams of people write down these three ideas that you have so passionately pursued in your life that you so passionately desire and you know they will be in high demand ministerially entrepreneurial um, and all of that write it and then pick one of them just one and start working on it ideas are like a vehicle you can only get to one location at a time you can go everywhere with it but not everywhere at a time pick one 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 and start working on it many of us are doing too many things that's why you don't succeed too many things after the miracle service i'm going to be teaching us on the principle of execution it will be the last phase and then i'll also teach us on multiple streams of income i'm going to be sharing you a lot of We believe you have been blessed. For additional information, you can visit us on Facebook on www.facebook.com slash Koinonia Eternity Network International or follow us on Twitter www.twitter.com slash Koinonia underscore ENI. You can download our messages on www.foreshared.com Eternity Network International, replicating the fullness of God's life on earth.